this place so these are all the makeup things i brought for our trip mm, as you can see not a lot because i didn't want to bring a lot because this is the backpack i came in with all of my clothing and two bags also two handbags or two purses and i have spf foundation flawless filter highlighter blush uh, another blush fenty some brushes lip gloss lip pencils powder bronzer and so on this will be more than enough for me thank you thank you very much got me some coffee thank you very much which one is mine this one mm -hmm. thank you amazing also i see some beer it's a local craft brewery classic Shara's brought flat white with oat milk for me. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. My love. My love, thank you. Almost got ready. This is my really quick and glowy makeup. I just fixed my hair also. These are the other things I brought for this trip. Of course, floss. My fragrance. Shampoo and conditioner. Intimate hygiene cleanser. Moisturizer. And deodorant. Toner from Pixie, Pixie Glow. I just put it in this thingy. A travel size niacinamide serum. A cleanser, botanical hydrating cleanser from MAT, just to clean my makeup and all the dirt. This is to clean my skin with acids. Moisturizer with niacinamide. I don't know how to pronounce it. Niacinamide, niacinamide. And this is everything I brought. Hello again. We are going somewhere to eat because we're really hungry. I had I had only breakfast sandwich, not the whole sandwich, so I feel really hungry. We found the uh, Shara's found Spanish place, so we are going there. Tasty. What are you eating? Tacos, vegetarian tacos, but I added shrimps. It's good. Yeah. 
how was your lunch? It was nice. I like it. <laughs> it was nice. I like it. The lunch was really good. We went to the place called Pueblo something. Yeah, Pueblo Mexican bar. Mexican uh, kind of restaurant. restaurant. Now we came to the main uh, Gdansk area, I would say, near the canal. It reminds us a little bit of uh, Navigli in Milan. It's quite cute here. Cute. Cute. <laughs> We are really tired because we walked a lot, uh, we saw a lot of Gdansk Old Town and now we sat down at this place called Flesak 76, our friends recommended this place, so this place is basically a cocktail bar based on um, fairy tales. Again. <laughs> so this bar is based on a cocktail bar based on fairy tales and you have a lot of cocktails that are somehow uh, connected with fairy tales. So I chose goldfish, Sharas chose which one? Pinocchio? So we will see how they taste like and how they look like. How are you feeling? Uh, I can touch my legs but I can't feel it. So this is my cocktail, it's called goldfish. Looks really real but this is made from orange jelly and this is Pinocchio the bartender said that this is a piece of Pinocchio's nose or body <laughs> I like wooden jokes so I'm drinking wooden cocktail enjoy mm, that's good really refreshing not too sweet a bit sour really light with <laughs> with <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah. With, with vodka. <laughs> Try yours. Oh. Kind of familiar to Cuba Libre. I have a similarity. Nice taste. Kind of Cuba Libre style, but more refreshing. Another round cosmopolitan and a good clean. Mm. Totally different from what I was expecting it. Good morning. It's our second day in Gdansk. It's our first full day in Gdansk. In Gdansk. <laughs> I can't speak, it's still morning. We haven't had breakfast yet. The weather is beautiful, it's quite warm. So we are going to have breakfast in this vegan place that we saw yesterday. It's called Avocado Vegan Spot, something like that. So we will see. We're gonna have some healthy, nutritious and balanced breakfast and coffee, of course. And then we will see what is our plan for the day we might go to the seaside maybe with bikes maybe with a taxi because the prices in Poland in Gdansk are better than in Lithuania and in Vilnius so we might take taxi just to the beach
after the breakfast I feel extremely extremely full I had chickpea omelet with avocado mushrooms asparagus kind of like vegan mayo sauce uh, Shara's had delicious bagel with jackfruit it was barbecue jackfruit no it was really delicious bagel really nice portions it was just enough but we also thought that we're gonna try desserts so Shara's had like mango pudding with coconut I had bounty pudding with chocolate I think it was made from chickpeas maybe or peanuts I'm not sure and I also had matcha latte and Shara's had the flat white I mean it was a lot of food and different things so we feel so full right now but it was really really delicious and now we're gonna take bikes and go to Sopot my hand is in pain <laughs> I'm spitting on myself while I talk now we're gonna take bikes because um, our um, apartment host is a really nice guy he gave us two bikes to ride to the sea or where we want so we're gonna ride to Sopot it became a bit cloudy before it was like clear blue sky now it's a bit cloudy and the weather says that it's going to rain so I'm not sure about that uh, hopefully it won't rain but we're gonna ride the bikes we're gonna get some workout in because we plan to have some more delicious food today and uh, maybe beer <laughs> who knows but we need to get a workout in so that's the plan go to the beach with bikes so we had eight kilometers bike ride we went to the beach we got some tan we are in Sopot now we came to the Sopot old town to the main street Charles is having some espresso and we're gonna ride back to Dansk because we got a lot of sun we had some beer we rode how many kilometers 10 already in total 10 already 10 kilometers so 10 kilometers back and then we have a reservation at 7 p.m to the really nice at the really nice restaurant so we need to go to sephora also because uh, first things first sephora is a must in uh, other country and then the shadows need to buy some polo shirt or something a lot of things to do we can do this today, yes? We just came back from our bike ride. It was about 25 kilometers and we also went to the shopping mall. It's called Galeria, I forgot, <laughs> Galeria something. Um, Baltitsky, maybe, I forgot. Anyway, I went to Sephora and I bought wishful serum thirst trap juice it is called like that with hyaluronic acid peptides aloe vera uh, holy hawk rose hydrating soothing luminous glow firming and titans i got this one to try and i also got a new product which is fenty lip oil cherry lip oil uh, cherry treat conditioning lip oil so everyone is buzzing about lip oils right now and I've never seen anyone trying this one so I'm gonna try this for you maybe in a quickie also I just got ready to go to the restaurant I also used on my lips the new Fenty conditioning oil I really like it looks cute really simple makeup simple hair simple everything we are extremely hungry because we only had breakfast in the morning and now it's already uh, half past six so we haven't eaten for seven hours eight hours it's a lot
morning guys is the third day in Gdansk and now I'm going to the same shopping mall that I was yesterday uh, Galeria Baltitska, Baltitska. I don't know how to pronounce exactly but we're going there to have some breakfast because I need veggies uh, even though yesterday last night we had really 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 delicious dinner at the Niastuka restaurant it was amazing, we had ceviche, we had uh, veal crudo, I had veggie risotto, Sharas had uh, ribeye steak, it was so good, the stuff was amazing, I totally recommend this place, thousand percent, but I still need some more veggies because I'm used to eating a lot of veggies and salads, so I'm going to that shopping mall, because also yesterday when I came back and I was doing makeup for the dinner, my concealer finished and now I need to buy a new one and I also want to buy something for my hair because I'm tired of washing it every day I don't have any uh, hairspray or anything but when I tie it I need to like um, do something with this baby hair so I'm going to the shopping mall, Shara's is already there I'm gonna eat some salad, breakfast or whatever, have coffee maybe or coffee somewhere else and I need to buy the um, concealer and something for my hair and yeah, we will see what else we do today but we're definitely gonna go to some museums We just came back, Sharas is putting away the groceries and I got two things Ow! So the first one is this one uh, by Schwarzkopf Taft Beautifying 4-in-1 Wonder Fluid Antifreeze Moisturize Smoothness Natural Shine So hopefully it will work to smooth my hair properly And then I got a concealer NARS uh, Creamy Radiance I got a travel size, the small one Because I couldn't really decide between the shades There were I think 8 or 10 shades and some of them were really light, for example this one and another one a bit darker was really too dark so I got just a small one to see how I like the shade the shade is vanilla light vanilla light for light skin and I was looking also for a Tarte concealer I almost bought the Tarte concealer but uh, they didn't have uh, testers for all of these shades so I just went back to the NARS and got the NARS one, which is a small one, which went for a really good price, around 16 euros for a small one. I think it's great. Now maybe we will go to the seaside or I have no clue, but see you somewhere else. We just came to Sopot by train, it was two stops from Dansk. So now we are in Sopot. Beautiful, beautiful architecture city, very nice. guys we are at the beach at the Sopot beach it's really hot and sunny so we are getting some vitamin D we're eating Pringles having a beer and after we're gonna go to the restaurant I think to eat here in Sopot but oh it's a bit cloudy now a lot of people here a lot of Lithuanian looking people <laughs> Polish people have similarities to Lithuanian people, especially the seaside. So yeah, just getting some tan, getting some vitamin D, getting some sun, because it's going to rain I think tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So today is a good day to have some beach time.
guys. Schade, pass is weken. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Today is Sunday and we are heading to the um, city center to go to some museums. It's quite windy and not too warm today as it was yesterday. Anyway, yesterday we went to this amazing place. It's called Ulitsa Elektrikov. As you saw, I filmed a lot of footage there. It's basically like an area for youngsters. It's like a clubbing area with many different stages, many different music uh, artists and DJs, a lot of food, different food, like uh, food trucks, food. drinks, street food, a lot, a lot of things to do and listen. For us, it was really nice area no it was really really cool so we enjoy that a lot if you ever go to Gdansk I recommend Ulitsa Elektrikov for sure especially if you want to party a bit longer so you can dance and listen to the music we didn't stay up till late there we went home to sleep because we're old people already we don't party anymore <laughs> But uh, we really enjoyed that place. That With place, to be uh, honest, is the name is Pierre 33. Pierre 33? Yes. It's called okay. like that? Yes. Pierre 33, Ulitsa Elektrikov. However, you can find it, you can find it. So, today we woke up, we relaxed a little bit, went to have coffee. I changed my outfit because it wasn't that warm to go with the outfit that I first had, as you saw. So I'm wearing mostly Sharuna's clothes, <laughs> as always. And we're going to the museums. I hope they will let us in because we didn't uh, register online. We are just going to go with the flow and see how it goes. Now we're heading to metro station and we're gonna catch a metro we are now at the second world war museum so hopefully they will let us in because we didn't register online but this building is very beautiful and it should be nice and interesting so we will see if we can get in left the Second World War Museum. Wow, it's huge. I mean, you need like three or four hours to spend in there to go through everything because it has a lot of things. We don't feel our legs <laughs> because the museum is huge, but it's super interesting. If you are ever in Gdansk, we totally recommend to go to the Second World War Museum, definitely, because it's really special. How was your uh, first uh, tapas plate? Do you, do you like it or not? Yes, very good. Very delicious. A lot of sea, only seafood, fish, prawns. Very good. With the wine, very good. For digestiva, I take the cocktail. And let's try how it sounds. Mmm, and it sounds great. Tequila mixture with uh, something. I know, so smooth, so creamy. Started to rain after dinner, so full. The food was delicious. The stuff were amazing. We had a lot of seafood, 
we had a bottle of wine, everything was perfect. from last full day in Dansk we just had coffee we just had Polish cheesecake now we're just exploring the area we are going to Zespa because apparently it has a lot of street art and interesting things artsy things to see so hopefully that's true so let's head together to Zespa our uh, sightseeing in Zaspa. How did you like Sharas? Quite nice because uh, I like that in the first floor of the building they have a nice parks for their own <laughs> and also the <laughs> terraces, terraces of parks. Not parks. And also I like some of uh, paintings on the walls. Yeah it's really uh, it's really interesting because these buildings these houses that people live in are uh, Soviet built so they are, you know, like boxes. We have the same houses in Lithuania, but it's nice that they used these boring gray concrete boxes and did something artsy and contemporary to them. What's the plan? Plan is uh, to start thinking about lunch. Where we can go to have lunch. Or in Pizza Hut, or we can make it at home. No, maybe not at home. Do you want to make a home? No, but I want home food. Not pizza, not pasta. Difficult with live, live, living with a man is difficult. No. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. No. Never knows what he wants to eat. Sounds like a woman. <laughs> you That's sound what she like a woman. You sound like a woman. Like a woman. Just came through the gates. What else? Don't want to go home. 